Hi, my dear kids. I am Chit Gudila, and today we will learn something about human. If you watch my previous video, I teach about living things and non-living things. But in this video, we will focus more on the basic needs of living things. So our basic needs, actually, because we also are living things. This one is year one, unit three. Basic needs of living things. We need food, especially food because we eat every day. Okay, we eat every day. That girls also eat. Okay, so instead of humans, plants also need food. But how they get food? They get food from photosynthesis process. So plants make their own food, but us we need to cook the food. <laughs> so plants make their own food by photosynthesis process. How they absorb the sunlight and then they process by using absorb and then they have a chlorophyll. So plants that have chlorophylls they can make their own food. Next we have animals. Animals also need food. Okay, that's the first basic needs. Of living things. Next, we have basic needs of living things. The second one is water. Yeah, if we don't have water, what will happen to us? We drink water every day. If we don't drink, we all feel very thirsty, isn't it? Ah, okay. Instead of humans, animals also need water. They also drink water. But remember, animals, plants also need water. We need to give water to the plants because plants need water for them to make their food. Next, the basic needs of living things is air. This is the most important basic needs for humans. Can you imagine? Can you hold your breath just for a minute? <gasps> How do you feel? It's hard for you to. It's hard for you, right? So that means we need air. If we don't get air for a few minutes, we might die. For water, maybe we. If we don't get water for a few days, then we can die. Food, maybe for a week, then we can die. But if we don't get air for a few minutes, ah, we can die. That means air is much important than other basic needs. Okay, so we need air. We also have horse. That means air is not only for humans. Animals also breathe. Ah, okay. So even aquatic animals also need air for them to breathe. Okay. Basic needs of living things. The other one is. Shelter, okay. Shelter. I believe all of you have your own house, right? I also have my own house right now, okay. So that is shelter. That is the place for you to live. That is the place that cover you from rain, from hotter hot weather. Uh, so that is shelter. Not only for humans. Animals also need shelter, so birds will be, make their nests, and then for chickens they have their own place, which is the fork. Okay. Next, humans need to. Mm -hmm. Okay, what we need to do? Okay, so the first things is why we need water. Actually, when we drink water, it can help us to control our body temperature, and then. It also can help to circulate our body, our blood, because the blood will bring your water, bring the water to the whole body. So, from by drinking water, it can help to circulate our blood. Next, digest food in our body. So, if we just eat, eat and eat, but we don't drink, so it's hard for us to. Mm, digest the food. Okay, so actually, once we 
eat something and then we drink water. But the best thing is we drink before we eat and after we eat, we drink the water a few minutes after that. Don't drink it right away. Okay, that's the best way. Maybe you can wait for a 10 minutes to 15 minutes. It's okay. And then after that, you can drink water. That's better. You just, if you too thirsty, it's okay. If you're choking, yes, you can drink right away. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Next. Okay. So we have to remove waste from our body. It also can help us to remove waste from our body. Next. We have humans need food too. Ah, the previous one, they said that human needs water. Yes, we do need water. And this one, human needs food for what? Why we need to eat? Ah, is it because food for our growth? If we don't eat, we cannot grow. Okay, next carry out daily activity this is because when you eat food you get an energy so after you get an energy you can have energy to do work <laughs> okay to have energy to do the daily activities so can you imagine uh, when you go to school but you don't take any breakfast so you don't have energy so you feel very tired once you arrive to the school so you cannot do anything because you are too tired you not eat yet. Uh, so, once you eat, you have energy to carry out daily activity activities. Uh, we can run, we can play football. Next, move. Yeah. We need food to get energy in order for us to move. We also need food to maintain and build our body muscle. So, we need to get a healthy food. Healthy food can help to maintain our body health, to maintain our body muscle. So that's the importance of food to human. And last, to defend ourselves from viral infections. Because food, some of food have vitamins, have zinc. So that one can help to defend ourselves from viral infections especially fruits because fruits most of them have vitamins that can help to defend your to protect your health like it the importance of water to humans okay this one not only for drinking it's also important for other things for example we need water to bath mandi uh, I believe everyone having their bath every day. Uh, and then the second one, what she's doing? She, she is brushing her teeth. Uh, so that also needs water. And then washing the clothes, cooking, washing our hands, and also washing the car. So we need water in our daily life. If there is no water, Everything can be difficult. Ah, oh, what is that? You can see someone is drowning, right? Okay, so this is what happened when we're drowning. We don't get air. Ah, so human needs air to breathe. How if we're drowning, at that time, we don't get enough air for our body. So, without air human will die yes we will die if we don't get air and air contains oxygen which is required by our body so if we don't get air we cannot breathe we will die <laughs> okay so human will die if air is prevented from in entering the breathing tract so once we are drowning we cannot breathe because air cannot enter our breathing tracts. We cannot breathe. So that's why we can die. I don't know how to swim. Shelter. Okay, why shelter are important? A human, not a human, a house is a human shelter. So we all have a house. Okay, 
So that is our shelter. House protects us from hot weather, storms, and rain. Like this one, during raining seasons, during rain, what you do? Stay inside the house. What happens if you play outside? Mm, you might get fever. Okay, a house provides a safe and comfortable environment for us to learn, eat, and rest with our family. Like this one. Okay. Mm, nutritious food that gives us energy. So this is just an additional info. What you need to take for your food so that it can give you energy. For example, rice. Yes, rice can give us energy. We usually take rice on for lunch, right? Okay, rice, potatoes. This one is noodles, cereals. I like to take cereals, especially on the for breakfast. Yeah, and then bread, cookies. Ah, uh, so all of this one can give us energy. So usually we take noodles, cereals, or maybe um, bihon goreng, uh, that one, or nasi goreng in the evening. Eh, in the evening. <laughs> in the morning lah for breakfast. Uh, so us to get, so us can get energy to do works or activities during the day. Next. Nutrition. Nutrition, <laughs> nutrition, uh, food that can help us to grow. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so this one can help us to grow. So remember, kids, uh, like fish, eggs, meat, milk. Mm, this one is also important. Milk, like this one is a butter. Really, this one is a butter. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a butter and cheese. Okay, all of these things can help us to grow. But that doesn't mean we can take this one too much. We have the food pyramid. So we need to follow the food pyramids. Which one that you need to take more? Which one you need to take less? Okay. Next. Ah, okay. You see that one? There is a fruit. There is a lot of fruits that I like there. I like the papaya. I like the banana. Apple is... Apple, we have the watermelon, we have the pineapple, kiwi, orange. So we have a lot of food. Okay, so what is the function of this? Ah, this is the nutritious food that helps us to stay healthy. So have you heard about an apple a day can keep the doctor away? <laughs> That's an English uh, word. Okay, so... It's supposed to be vegetables and fruit. So you should like to eat vegetables and fruits. If you don't like vegetables, make sure you take some fruit. You take also fruit. Hmm. Okay, I think that's it for our lessons today. And remember to like and subscribe my videos. Bye. Love you all.